Hello and welcome to the sightings and today in the sightings we have these. They may be wondering what these are. These are tarped SD seventy aces for military per for the military services such as like taking ammunition trains and the like. However, I will tell you this, these are freight cars, essentially. This is rolling stock, not at a fit, these are not engines because they are tarped. Now, some people may be, oh no, no, you're not trying hard enough. See? I can't get these to operate. So they are effectively freight cars. And this might be a turn off to some people. Why do I say that? Well, they want to drive the actual military versions. They don't want to do the delivery types. Because delivery engines... Or doing a delivery like this just isn't their cup of tea. There is one issue with this that I take umbrage with. And that is that if you don't like it, why, why download it? I downloaded it because I really want to have fun with these. So, my little switcher from the last review is going to come collect them. But, before it gets here and we shuffle them all together, I want to tell you that, yes, they did release the actual models of these where they do run. I will be reviewing them, maybe not after this one, but we're going to look at these as what they are, rolling stock. Because... And I don't know if you know this, but when they're transporting a locomotive, they always, always transport them what is known as dead in tow. Dead in tow basically means that the engine doesn't run. When it comes out of the workshops, it is not fired up. It does not move under its own power. It is not assigned to crew. And, big one, it has effectively nowhere to work. So that's what this captures. And, I'm going to be honest, I love it. I really do. I can't fault these engines for what they are and for what it's mimicking. But I can fault them in one way. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but I say that only to cover my bases because I really can't find fault with these product. Because it's just, if you're taking these dead in tow to a military base, good for you. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's not like they committed the sin. Something that I hear everyone talk about.
pardon me while I sort this out. <clears throat> now, while we're arranging them, I do want to point out that there are five of these, and there are five of the in-operation versions. So you can effectively do a scenario or a setup where one of these engines is working, you know, is towed, basically dead and towed to a military base, fired up, and works a munition train. that's that's about it now with these like I said being the dead and toe engines a lot of people will be oh, they're not supposed to be dead and toe it's not politically correct dead and toe is what is known as jargon it is tech speak from the railroad When an engine is not fired up, when an engine is not in power, basically when the prime movers, basically when the diesel engines aren't revved, or if it's a steam engine, the wood or the coal or the oil fire isn't roaring into life and they've got, you know, smoke and steam popping out of the chimney or stack and out of the cylinders and everything, and you can hear the hissing and the bubbling. That is referred to being dead. Being cold. When we fire up, when the engine is put into service, when the engine's, when the key for a diesel is turned on, when the panographs for an electric are raised, or coal and f or wood or oil are thrown into the firebox with a good amount of water. And we get it fired up and it's doing all this stuff and you can hear the humming and the hissing and the, the fans running around and the, the big diesel engines humming quietly. I say quietly. Bats refer to being live. God dang it. are supposed to collect those but this makes sense <clears throat> because when an engine is a lot like your car you know put into neutral or the engine is off there's no power meaning that the gears don't really have a power drive and when you shut off your car, but you put it into neutral, that's the same thing as what we're doing here. They're shut off, but they're in a neutral position. So, I wait to collect and run.
you know, for essentially big honking diesels that weigh millions of pounds, I would have thought that the the the, the uh, TE BC six here would be struggling like a son of a gun, but no, she's walking away with them. And this is the power of, well, being in neutral. You still have the weight to contend with, but the weight's not that bad. Once you get everything moving, what's going to be fun is when I come up to the switches I just set, and I have to stop. We'll see how that works. Whether I'm panicking, grabbing a chair, yelling, oh, sheep. Or if I'm going to be like, okay, mm -hmm, yeah. If you hear, that means I've grabbed the chair and the next words out are going to be, oh, sheep. If I'm like, okay, that means I'm grabbing the chair, but the next words out aren't going to be, oh, sheep. It's going to be interesting. The S key for the like emergency quick stop. And here's the thing. They've already pretty much dead stopped our engine. Interesting. So, they can bring in an, an engine like this, like the TEB C6 I have, to a dead stop, but at the same time, how do I say it? They also really hamper her getting back up to her power and her speed. Okay. That's something I'm gonna really, that's something that we all have to pay attention to. Not because I don't like people who don't pay attention to things like this. But because, as I'm about to say, this can get really hairy. So, I'll leave it at that. I'll see you in the next one. Mm, bye.